got a Brooklyn one for you this week. Can you believe it? We're here at the beautiful Come On Everybody Amphitheater out under the stars doing a Brooklyn drag roundtable with some amazing talent. Who's on the de- on the lineup? We have Essa. We have Chicky. We have Chicky. We have Jack. <laughs> Their names? We have Julie J and we have Peach A Queen. And we get really, there's a lot of conversation. There's a lot of conversation, a lot of shade is thrown. A lot of crosstalk. A lot of crosstalk. So I hope it sounds beautiful in your ears. Goodbye. Goodbye. M. Oh. M. Mom. It's a big old bus. You turn around and boom, you end up with the. button do you want to start the show <laughs> oh are we going uh-huh okay our number is two one three five three six nine one eight zero or email us sloppy seconds pod at gmail.com now on with the show oh! hi you stop you stupid little you not so you dirty little welcome to sloppy seconds big dipper meatball i'm meatball that's big dipper hello hello meatball something is not the same something has changed Within me. Without us. Without us, too. With, on the outside Now, where of are us. we? What would you call this venue? I would call it by its name. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. Uh, we are here at Come On Everybody in Brooklyn, uh, because to wrap up our New York City episodes, Sloppy Seconds Takes New York, we decided to do something special. And what is that special thing? Well, that special thing is that today <laughs> we have... Uh, some wonderful guests here, and we'll be having a Brooklyn roundtable with some of Brooklyn's newest and oldest artists. It's, Bro- it's, it's a Brooklyn drag roundtable. Well, that's just a roundtable <laughs> about Brooklyn. The Bodega guy's going to come in here a little bit, and I can yell at him about how long it's going to make me that goddamn sandwich. But where is the table? I don't know! <laughs> um, okay, that's right. So um, we have amazing guests here today, so let's get them... Let's get them out here. Yes, please welcome to the stage. They're already seated around a round table. Today we have Chiquitita. I just Esta got here. No oh. Chi- oh, sorry. No, we're going to say all your names <laughs> first. You did just you wait a be, second. Did you want to talk in between? I, it's your no, show. they're not allowed to. Go. Chiquitita. The, Chiquitita. Esa Noche. Julie J. And Pinche Queen. Yay! The mother of Brooklyn. <laughs> the Honey, mother. I didn't The mother say of Brooklyn. It. Wait, can we start talking now? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the podcast. Theme. Literally. Yeah. We no, got I didn't it. know we had a cue. I didn't know we had a cue. Honey. Bro, I feel like Sweetie in the um, MTV Music Awards. I you know, know that's, that's right. right. <laughs> I know what that's did you right. Say? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I know that's right. Okay. I know that's right. Wait, know that's all right. right. Now, why don't you each go around and introduce yourselves and talk about how long you've been doing drag in Brooklyn? And what you're known for. Yeah, what are you in known Brooklyn. for? In Brooklyn. Which way are we going? Why don't we start with Why don't we start with Pinche? Why don't we start with Pinche? Let's start with Pinche. The legacy girl. Yes. Oh, it's shady already. This hasn't even started. Start with the diva. The diva. Um, the my mother. name, honey. Uh, my name is Pinche Queen. I've been in Brooklyn for about. It is. <laughs> I've been in Brooklyn for about three minutes, and I am most known for being the best cover girl you can get in the city. What do you mean by cover girl? Well, I'm only here to replace people that weren't available. (laughs) Oh! (laughs) But when people call out, you get the first call. Yes, I get the first call. This is your, what, fourth time on our podcast? 
third? I would say third because that first one never came out. Oh, right. Oh, yes. That's true. That's we, our yeah, bad. That that's our bad. Yeah, 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 All right, yeah, yeah. Julie. <laughs> Julie, what are you known for? Oh my How God. long have you been um, doing drag? Hi, my name is Julie J. Hi. I have been doing drag for four years um, here what? in Brooklyn, New York. That's right. Four, yeah, and I look this good, girl. It's true. I know, I'm a little four upset. Years. Um, and I'm most known for being Miss Bushwick 2023 oh, yeah! right now. Yes. Um, as of yeah, as of now. As, as of, of now. As of right, <laughs> right now. What? Wait, was right there now. some? Dis- she's um, been thinking about it. Was there a discrepancy? It's true. You said what? Was there a discrepancy? Uh, well, yes. No. No. There no. Wasn't. No. There wasn't. There wasn't. No. Listen, we all love each other. As of I now. I think to be shaved. Yeah. I, she's just listen just to read the doll. It's yeah. good to know. It's good okay. to know, bitch. Um, <laughs> no. I am also most known for Stand Up NYC, which is a very big fundraiser show here in Brooklyn, um, raising money for LGBTQIA plus individuals across the country. An inclusive diva. Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> absolutely. Sometimes. <laughs> Only when there's Stand Up NYC. <laughs> what about the What about the chasers? What about yeah, the chasers? What do you do? I have a Cavassier straight. <laughs> up. <laughs> here. Oh, Thank you. Cheeky, how long have you been doing drag and what are you most known for here? I've been doing drag for nine years. My nine wow. year anniversary just passed. So. Wow, congratulations. Boo. I know, it sucks. <laughs> She's um, only 22. Yeah, uh, I have been doing drag in Brooklyn though for seven years, I think now. I'm probably most known for Oops, uh, former Miss Bushwig. Um and oh I also did Alaska's pageant and which we're not gonna talk about and I'm just kidding. <laughs> it didn't happen in Brooklyn. <laughs> so that that wasn't in happen. Brooklyn. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about. Oh it. yeah. It well, I guess you Brooklyn. recorded it in Brooklyn. They flew me out from Brooklyn. Yes. So, uh, and yeah, I don't know what else you know better than I do. Girl, I don't listen to you, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is why I look to the. Yeah, yeah. Now you look at the camera, but I'm going to say, girl, <laughs> we're filming. Gra, ah! gra, gra, gra. Welcome to show. Well, hi, y'all. <laughs> How long have you been doing drag? What are you most I'm Not that long, drag. clearly, Jesus. Well, oh. Honestly, because, you know, I had two things. So, you know, I technically, in total, five years. Yes. And for New York City, I am, <laughs> I am known as the... Windmill, Body Beautiful, Brunch Over Diva, <laughs> Kanova Shakova, Game Over Range Rover, and I'm also New York City's premier and only Ice Spice impersonator, <laughs> like Gra. That's true. That's true. It is true. Now, <laughs> how did you all first get involved in drag, and what brought you to Brooklyn? Hmm. Ooh. Mother of Brooklyn? Me? Um, <laughs> well, I, I uh, had day. bills to pay, and I had a wig, so I started twirling and then i moved here eventually and that's a pretty much my brooklyn journey yeah because you're yeah. fresh you're like what a couple months yeah i've only been here for like five six months and it's been cute so far it's been some obstacles but it's been me? cute yeah why did she look at you <laughs> girl i didn't keep track. like you're keeping track <laughs> <laughs> well i'm i'm turning and having conversation right. Right. Oh. <laughs> i know y'all this might be this, new is, to this. this is organic <laughs> She said I'm media trained, bitch. She said I'm media trained. She's already burning bridges. She's already burning bridges. You'll never work in this town again. (laughs) Bitch. Julie, what made you start four years ago? Oh my God. Um, Well, I I went to school in New York. Um, Mm. I went to Sarah Lawrence College, um, like in uh, Westchester, not upstate, but Westchester. So actually, I'm going on next year is my 10 year anniversary of being in New York City. Um, Yes. Listen, a full decade, girl. I can say I didn't have to get mugged. Nobody t- stole anything I mean, from mugged, me. Well, yeah. always. I got mugged. I know. The always. Close-up Julie, I got mugged. Me okay, you got mugged? <laughs> yeah, I got mugged at the West Village Ooh. by a gay person. At- no. No, oh. you're joking. What happened? Yes, girl. How did you know they were gay? Yeah. Because she said, sis I'm, sis, I'm robbing you. Oh. And I said. <laughs> Wait, that's and a I good said, show title. I said. That's a good show title. Sis, I'm, I'm robbing you. I'm robbing you. Bring your one. Sis, I'm robbing you. And no, really. And it, no, really. at the door, bitch. And it was crazy. It happened in the West Village in Gay Town, and it was crazy. I got oh a my costume. God. Wait, well, did they attack you? And or that did... person was Her- Chikajita! <laughs> <laughs> Formerly known as Harajuku. I know. I'm sorry. I should really bring it back. Uh, wait, but um, this is a question. For, because for the two of you both mentioned earlier that you've gone through a name change. Mm. A, it, some kind of psychological change. Hey, in your life, life, mama. What, what causes that kind of thing? Because we're talking about, you know, like, what uh, inspired you to start doing drag. But what makes that change something that you want to well, do I'm with not, your... I'm not Japanese. Uh, I've never oh. been Japanese. Look like, at I these. I wanted to be Japanese. You're not those knees. Yes, I probably could be. She's not, she's but not. you went. You were Harajuku, and then oh. tur- went Juku, and then went... 
Yes. Okay. You got it. I, I know the I know the path. You and what it. about you, Essa? What made you want to change? Uh, climate change. I don't know. <laughs> girl. <laughs> That's so cool. girl, girl, no, it was just during the, the pandemic because, like, when I first started as bleep, um, bleep. do you bleep it or do I just we bleep? can bleep it? Bleep, bleep, and um, bleep. bleep. And <laughs> when I started the, that way, I was just very like the the dive by girl. Like, I remember, like, Untitled would be like, you're my favorite uh, dive bar girl. Like, you're so good at dive bars. And I was like, thank you, Untitled. That's so sweet of you. I, I and can't then, know if that's a compliment or not. No, that was, she was being genuine. She's like, I like seeing you out at the bars. You're my that's favorite sweet. one. But that's being specific to dive bar, I feel yeah, like that might be reedy. Yeah, that's really? like Brooklyn compliment. Well, that's a Brooklyn compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a Brooklyn, a Brooklyn, Brooklyn compliment. Because where else are you going to do it? At the amphitheater? Ampa. Some some people do. <laughs> Ampa. At some the amphitheater. I've done an amphitheater. It's well, fun. You know, um, and then once, you know, COVID happened and I stayed inside home, I was just really thinking about my drag. And I'm like, well, you know what? I want to make this like a full-time zhuzh. So then I thought about something that was really like mysterious to me. And I thought about SF when I was there when I was like 19. Before, you know, the Tito and the Ovas were like yeah. giving it down. <laughs> um, there was this bar. I, I think you would know because you're like older. Um, it's Ooh. called uh, Ooh. Esta Noche. Yeah. Do you remember Esta Noche? Yeah. 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 Do you remember? I, you remember? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course. When and that was like, around, I wasn't old enough to get in. No, no, same. Yes. No, that was me though. I was like, oh my god, I'm like, I work at the Gap. Like, I can't go in here. Like, I'm so underage. And that was a very mysterious. So it's Essen that you know. Yeah. I love that. When I travel, I tell people that my favorite drag scenes are Chicago and Brooklyn. But Aww. I would like to know what you think makes Brooklyn drag so special and why it is so good. I, I've been thinking about this a lot recently. I think that a lot of drag performers are afraid to fail. And in Brooklyn, no, I don't think most of us are afraid to fail. Look at the material. Hey, okay. Because <laughs> it, it really, no, I, th I, I really have been thinking about this recently. Like, we are not afraid to look absolutely bonkers, batshit crazy, but somehow it's also, I, I mean, look at the look material. At <laughs> yeah, okay. There's a fearlessness. There's a fearlessness. Performance. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, which I, I love. I think it's great. I like to say that Brooklyn is a matriarchy, whereas the rest of the world is a patriarchy. Oh. And that's why our drag is so good. Wow. It's run by trans women. I mean, it really is. Yeah. <laughs> look at the material. Look at the Hola, Sí, sí, Paco, es verdad. Me gusta que tú miras con mi tel parchida. I also feel like, I mean, look at how amazing, like, actually, like, look at the material. Yeah. Like, yeah. Esa is such a good drag, amazing drag performer, and uh, her social media She's never said this, like, to me in person, so this is... Uh, I tell you that all the time, but she has an emotional block. She has a yeah. hard time Ooh, reading it. Active does. listener. Uh, no, deactive. <laughs> Deactivated. Don't engaged. Engaged. Okay. No, but she's so like sick. Everyone in this room knows it, you know. And you too, obviously. And, and we I'll shared our notes. We, we shared. Well, look, our look at this table right now. I I feel like with Brooklyn Drag, it's extremely like you can do whatever you bleep want to do, but you can you as long as you're anything. You oh, okay. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> this is yeah. not the view. I was literally doing this in the Uber. I was like, all right, just say bleep. When no, you can say. No. Okay. <laughs> I believe. I believe. <laughs> no, but like, there, it's so diverse here. The thing is, like, what people really like, they want to see you eat up the spotlight. They want right. to see you do this because we pay too much damn rent right. to not come up here and give you a fucking show. You yeah. could look crazy time. or you could look or you could look beautiful, but everyone's <laughs> still going to give it. And at the end of the day, we each have our own thing. And it's almost like a kingdom of sorts now. It's a queendom. It's a queendom. It's a queendom. It's a queendom. queendom. Uh, them dumb. It's because in my opinion of Brooklyn Drag and seeing it and coming out to a lot of shows, I feel like the queens have to also be able to host. Like, yes. you can't yes, just girl. Oh, you have to have a personality. You have to have a personality you to yes. actually work here. Well, that and doesn't repeat. happen in LA. Alone. No, that <laughs> never <laughs> happen. Trust me, I know. Reefy, if you're watching this, I agree. She doesn't bleep. have internet garage. Bleep. Bleep. Well, no, no. The hosting thing is true because now it's you true. see a lot of bleep new people. Um, <laughs> yes. and, and they don't know how to host. And I'm just like watching the show and I'm like, damn, this is this is well, literally you, New York City reputation. Like hosting is the one. Well, yeah. yeah. yeah you have well, to you learn. took time to learn too. Four you years of doing drag mm -hmm. and just being in the bathroom doing bleep and like... <laughs> <laughs> um, and it took me four years to get it on the, on the mic and actually like... Years. and now. 
<laughs> and now the girls are like, wow, you know how to read me down all this and that. I'm like, yeah, because I studied and I, it was serious, it's you know? Well, now oh. at your brunch, you're talking for like three hours straight on a Girl. microphone. Did you like my, did you like I my brunch? I had an long. incredible time here. It's oh, always so much fun. No, it's oh so good. It's body beautiful. You it's not the standard girls. Like standard girls. Wait, um, how do you learn? Mm. You perform to empty crowds that don't, like, pe- nobody wants mm-hmm. to come to your shows because they have no idea who you are. So it's like, you're performing to people that just stumbled in or like a friend or two that you might know and like they're a crowd of friends too. But yeah, you really learn with like filling the space, right? Mm-hmm. Because you, we don't have like the, the pleasure of being able to like round up all of these people the second that we start doing drag, you know what I mean? So it, t- it takes some time. Do you still work in the farm? Cause you said round up cattle, get Ooh. everybody together. <laughs> Hurting. <laughs> she caught her pig. <laughs> she caught her pig. I agree. <laughs> what are other ways that people learn? Yo, how did you learn? Going to see, going yes. to see shows. Oh yes. No yes, one. Yes, yes, I yes. feel like I feel like now the guy. I I feel like I'm like. No, none of the kids these days want to go kids. see show. But yeah. it's so true. Like I remember when I. You can ask Janelle actually. She, she is a great example. Janelle number five. I'm right Janelle here. Number five. Candy Muse. Momo Shade. I used. To which I bleep that out. Um, I used ah. to go. I used to go see her at Macri Park on Mondays Leap. years ago. This was back when Raga was still here. Oh my Leap. god! Raga yeah. before, before she disappeared. Before she disappeared, girl. Ah. Jump no, scare. But that's oh. what it was. That's what it was. Oh. I would go back. I would go see those shows She's all the Jeffrey time Star's before, range. and I would be at home doing makeup take that shit off and then go see a drag show. I wouldn't even go in makeup just oh. so I could just see and watch and take it in. Like, they, uh, what is it? It's like, you have to do something for a certain amount of hours 10, before 000 you- 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours. I feel like I saw 10,000 hours of drag before I even s- grabbed a microphone to step on stage. Well, I like to say that Julie is like a really well-educated student of drag. And smart. also you keep really smart people around you, like Linda Simpson mm-hmm. also. Whoa. You need yes. to know these people. You need to be in your community and actively participate participate and want to care because as the moment that someone reads that you're only there for clout or for Instagram followers or to get on drag race, yes. not you're, over. you're done. Over. Like mm-hmm. you need to you need to be this. You need to be communal and like do it because you want to do it. Right. And you do such a good Thank job. Thank oh my god. I have a my question baby. about like intergenerational yeah. uh, dra- <laughs> <laughs> drag scenes. Linda because, Simpson girl. <laughs> yeah, I mean Linda Simpson trauma. what a, a, like an amazing historian, right? Oh like my the gosh. photos alone, right? Yes. No, I started I started working with Linda because she wanted me to be a showgirl for her bingos. And at first, we it was like we wouldn't talk that much. But over time, I was like, this bitch knows everything. Mm-hmm. She knows drag from the practically the first day it fucking started. And to know her, to know Kevin, Aviance, yeah. pre Renaissance, yes, okay? Of course. Pre- oh, do da da do da do. Like to know that it's so interesting because I was thinking about it the other day. Like to know Kevin now. It's so interesting because, like, on on the one hand, I'm like jealous of the general public because they they get to experience Kevin for the first time, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And like for those of us who have been in nightlife and have known Kevin, we're like that's like sacred to me. Yeah. It's like Kevin when I first met him, he came up to me and he was like, "I know who you are. <laughs> you are a beautiful black ball queen." That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> No shade, that's hot. That, okay, it, it was, and that's I was what sitting I said there. To Essa the first time I met her too, <laughs> honey. But he was no. Kevin said that to me, and I was like, I have made it. This yeah. is Kevin Aviance knows who I am, and and like sees us in the same universe. Yeah. No one like I feel like people don't revere the the newer generation. Of You're the someone's way. Kevin Aviance. That's right. Oh, isn't that yeah. crazy? Wow. You're yeah. literally someone's Kevin. I'm someone's. So far, like they're like, yes, girl. <laughs> Somebody's I'm, 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 I'm someone's me. Cardi B, girl. I'm oh, someone's, you know. Just, I'm someone's sofa. I'm someone's three piece sectional. I'm someone's <laughs> Lexi. I'm someone you can. And know, you're someone's meat loaf. Yeah. Wait, me. can I tell yeah. you how I learned? Yeah, tell us. Yeah. Now, cause I am what a sponge. I absorbed. <laughs> Have uh, any of you, I know, PJ, you've done drag in a lot of other cities. Yes, uh, yes. You lived in L.A., you lived in Dallas. Mm-hmm. How does Brooklyn drag hold up compared to the other cities? Hold up. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, how hands is it down, different? How do you feel that it's different? Well, when when it comes your to holding up, hands down, Brooklyn drag, like, blows everyone out of the water because that fearlessness. Mm-hmm. You're not afraid to look like an idiot because that's how you learn. Yeah. I was going to say with hosting, the way that I always learned hosting was bombing. 
You uh, bomb, sure. you make a note, and you keep going. Some people will like internalize it mm -hmm. and think they suck the whole time, or bleep suck. <laughs> <laughs> but comparing to everything, like, like in Dallas, it. in Dallas, everyone was so concerned with looking beautiful and perfect the entire time, mm. and then you step out onto the stage, and yes, the dance moves are sickening. But the crowd is disengaged. Right. The right. crowd is disengaged and it's stressful. And you would always do some sort of like boundary pushing things, even just the way you would present yourself on stage. Especially right now. In well, <laughs> I know I actually think I'm just fat and you guys are inspired by that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was talking more about your hairy titties. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. Um, but in Los Angeles, I remember like there were some people who like it really took them a little bit of time to be like, God. Am I into this or not oh, into absolutely. this? Like it sort of butt up against people's like mentality. For sure. of and what I they definitely accepted. wasn't the first uh like person to do drag like this, especially right. in the SoCal area. There was Grace Towers. Sure. Um I was heavily inspired by people like BB Gunn and Ursula Major. Mm -hmm. But those people were always in a more alternative Right. scene and I was pushing myself oh. into more like mainstream like right. competitions and set like to show that I this is I can do what you do but I better do it like bitch. this. It's a you good answer. I, mean? I think you're right. going to stay. I think you're going to stay in Brooklyn yeah. now. Yeah, I, I hold, like Brooklyn I hold one home. photo in my hand. Oop. Can I keep Where her? is it? Can it's I me. <laughs> it's me ball. <laughs> you know what? But, I mean, you have all performed in other cities. You've been in San Francisco. Uh, what what what, how does it compare to other city? We have a queer audience. We don't have a gay audience. Yes. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. So we're a lot more receptive well, like to party. trans women, to trans men, to... It's more rewarding. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. when you can... Well, I like to say dykes for cheeky. Because if you can capture the dykes, you have every one. She's oh, talking about yeah. the, the two dykes. I'm talking about her. <laughs> Especially and on bikes. Dykes on bikes. Dykes on bikes. Wait, do y'all do trans. that? And our do trans do community. Yeah. I, well, you are trans, I apparently, I bitch. I trans on the dykes on bikes. <laughs> Not apparently. <laughs> I forgot about I was that. In a f I was painting up like a clown, that. and they're like, and our trans And sister. you said, Love wait, that was not... I thought that was that, that, was, that was I thought that was like a segment of the show. I thought that was like an SNL moment. No, no. that was a real moment that in my real. life. That Wait, why were you next to them? Like, she was I was right. I was why were you next to Dykes? I was heading the the pride the parade. parade and Dykes on and Bikes opens the parade so I was the first bike to go. I thought you were like stuck at a light cuz I thought like the way <laughs> Dykes at no, lights. I was looking right. at, at, at a gas. She ran out of gas. We'll be right back. Dykes at lights funny. thought we were going to get a refill. So what are the hot shows right now? What's all the buzz? What's what in, are people talking about? SS Brunch. SS Brunch is the number one Hands down. Which does Hands not happen in Brooklyn. Sold out most Where does Sunday it happen? For, New Jersey? Actually, for Manhattan. It's been oh. around for two years now. And when I started, it was like really, really small. It was like five people and like three people worked there. Like it was really small. And then I just like worked really hard. But now if for like the whole, all the slow season, it was sold out for the whole slow season. But What's the now, food like? The food's really it's good. It's pretty good. good. So Look good. at me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> what do you mean, what's the no, food? I haven't it's, been. It's really cool. You and can it's, get a slab yeah. of bacon if you Honey, want. Honey. Girl, that it's was different. Can a Motel too. 6. She ain't at the standard. Yeah, Dipper doesn't care about the standard. I was gagged to see you. I was gagged to see Sasha Colby there. I was gagged oh. to see Crystal like Metha there. Like lots of like uh, off duty girls go there. Yeah. And that to me is what is really special. So you think Sasha Colby's off duty? So I'm gonna ignore oh. you, but um, <laughs> so basically the whole brunch is like it's for me when I started that brunch it was like a love letter to like Brooklyn drag. So I would always want to get everybody at the grill because it's such a like she she posh thing, and I was like no, I want to get all the like POC trans talent that I grew up with at these bars, and I want to put them in this bright light, really good food, giving it to all these people that have money, hey, and money. you know, hey. and it was hey. really, it was, cute. it's just like, to me, it was just kind of like a, a kiss to for my friends, because like, they deserve it as much as anybody else. Girl, I just, you know, I worked hard to land, like, to, it just came on me, but like, yeah. It could come on me again, but like, oh. um, it could come on everybody. It's, just very, it it's on. really cool to see, like, all all these people that I've admired and like loved and like and they all come and moms cry when they're there. They're just like yes. they're like that big bitch is so <laughs> having so much fun. Oh my god! <laughs> they're like, can I hug you? You think it's, I had a whole <laughs> religious tw like twenty top of like all these like Roman Catholics coming from like 
like uh, church or something, and they all stayed, and they're all like the body of Christ. Like they're giving me like <laughs> they're giving me the, <laughs> and they were just like trying to have fun, and I was like, oh, wait, this earth? is like literally what? a whole unifying moment. That's why I mean, to the someone it's a Christ. little, it's like a little brunch, but to me it's very like. I don't think it's a little. You brunch. have like it's, an I, ease I of pulling everyone together. Yeah. Yeah. Are you talking about my gravitational force? I need force? everyone yes. watching the podcast to follow Esa Noche so that she can believe in herself. Finally, yes. oh. period. Yes. You don't believe I in do, yourself. But it's just like, she's humble. Like, it's cool. It's yeah. just cool to see like like a lot. Of Talking to the mic. If you don't talk to that mic. Oh, it's a, it's bleep. It's a lot. Really cool to see all my like my friends like just be around and you know no, give me. Yeah. I love, love you too. It's true, mama. Well, can I, I talk about my show? Yeah. yeah. Now we'll yeah. move on. Yeah. Jenny, <laughs> why, why don't you talk about your hot shows, Diva? I'm uh, every first Friday here at Come On Everybody, so just follow me. And sometimes we bring Rue Girls. Sometimes we're gonna bring Meatball. Yes, I'm coming. Ooh. And uh, I also like to do album tributes where performers just go one after another. And uh, we also do oops here um, once a month. Why don't you with explain West Dakota. oops? Because it's like hard to describe that <laughs> yeah. show to people. So oops started in 2017. I was not an original cast member. It was like Ruby Fox, Crystal, uh, Mesh, who is now living in where's she living? Florida. In? Florida, doing like gay porn. Uh, and Jack K. Kennedy and Mary Cherry also was a member of the first oops. But it just later evolved to like me and West Dakota kind of inheriting it because everyone moved away or like we, you know, weren't it's friends anymore. It's nightlife, it's hard, yeah. It's nightlife and it's hard to sustain a show for three years, you know what I mean? And that's how long it was before COVID. And then after COVID, we also did like online, yeah, yeah like digital. on Instagram, the digital mm -hmm. oops. That which was, was so legendary. Did you like that? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Girl. Girl. Did the little hands. How do you <laughs> Didn't that get written up in <laughs> Vogue or something? It was paper? Was it paper magazine? It was, it was paper. W. It was W. You oh. were the first people to do the, any sort of like when it came to like the Instagram surge yeah. of like, Oops was like literally that like it was the girls it that was were doing exciting it. to watch because it was inventive like everyone mm -hmm. else was just doing drag performing on in their rooms but you guys made use of like, like the, the filters and, and yeah. the filters and you created a show that seemed scripted before it went on thank you yeah. well it kind of we had a guide we were like we're gonna do this song we're gonna do this song we're gonna do this song and then like this is what the bits that we're doing in the songs and then the rest of it was improv which is a lot of what Oops still is. Like we'll have themes or we'll kind of just like navigate around ideas and then just spiff off of, what is the word, spoof? Spoof. 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 You get to also play your weird fun characters Oops. like Wesley. <laughs> or Chico, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you. <gasps> oh yes, my gosh. Julie. Yes, yes. Um, stand up NYC is yes. is my my hot show to talk about. The buzz. Um, I mean, it the was buzz. huge. It was that three dollar bill. Right? Yes, we've done three of them so far. Wow. Um, the next one we've raised s over seventy five thousand dollars. Holy shit! That is yeah. what I'm fucking talking about. Which is which is wild, and it's so funny because the first one we did was in March when like all of that legislation was happening in Tennessee right. and mm -hmm. in the South, and I like woke up one morning and I. I've been I've been vocal about this on Twitter. I just feel like a lot of the the people that we refer to as like leaders in the nightlife in the greater New York City nightlife community mm -hmm. like weren't doing enough for me. They weren't doing enough. And yeah. I was like, we we really have to like pull together because I think in New York, and I'm I'm sure we can all relate to this, in New York, we all always think to ourselves, that'll never happen here. Like it'll right. never come to it'll never get yeah. as far to Brooklyn from Texas, girl. It'll never come up here. And I'm like, we just had like so much violence happen yeah. like within the past couple of months. And so I was like, you know what, girl, I'm gonna get these uh, bleeps and uh, bleepers uh, together, and we we're gonna put on a mother show, bitch. And and bleep. Bleep. And we show are the world. Well, you know what? You know what's interesting about that is I think there's, especially in nightlife, there's a lot of this trajectory of people like working hard and sort of being underpaid, but being like really well known in a little community. And then someone with some corporate purse string says, oh, you're going to do our fashion week parties or you're going to do our whatever. And that nightlife person gets elevated and they have this sort of like legendary status, but they're going, they're looking back at two decades of like not ever having enough resources or money. And then they get plucked into this world and it's really challenging to hold on to those ideals. Mm -hmm. It's really challenging to like, because you just go like, whoa, now I just paid experience? off my student loans. He Girl. pays people. Okay. Yeah, no, I, it's from experience of interacting with yeah. those people mm -hmm. who go like, oh, we've got coin now, but you can still pull favors for us, right? And I'm like, oh, just pay everyone. And like, 
donate money. Yes. Like, figure it out. Like, if you're at a point where you have privilege and access, you should be using that for some philanthropy Girl. with everything that you do. Yes. Wow. That's what I talk about all the time. I'm like, you have 30,000, 40,000, 100, a million followers on Instagram, mm -hmm. and all you can post is a makeup selfie? Yeah, like, girl, cheeky. if you don't reshare yeah. a GoFundMe yeah, right cheeky. now. I'm sorry. Yeah, cheeky. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, come on. It's, it's not all about you. Yeah. It's 22 year old. I also do trans excellence, which is also all about me. I'm I kidding. love doing that show. <laughs> <laughs> Trans right. mask excellent. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna take a bleep and we'll be right, right back. Bleep. Already. Bleep. And we're, we're back. back. Now, now saving the best you show for back. last, you have honey, with, with the legend, the icon, the, Meredith Charitas. Yes, the disrespect oh. was real Meredith. before the break. Um, I, mean, that's not I just wanted to give the Queen of Brooklyn her proper due to start us off the on mother. our third segment. No. The You're going to get a lot of angry girls online talking <laughs> about me. Yeah, we know. And I'm used to it. Um, but no. not from Brooklyn, right? From like other countries, are there states? <laughs> Bosnia. <laughs> no, everywhere. Bosnia. Russia. Bosnia. Bolivia. Honey. That's a country, Ooh. right? Um, no, I do two Ooh. Saturdays a week, a uh, month, <laughs> a week. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Two Saturdays a month at uh, Macri Park with Mary Cherry. And um, most of the time it's just me, but I have a lot of fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does that mean? I that show well. I got to go to one when I first came It's to fun. Visit. Yeah, it's a wonderful time. It's fun. Macri I'm Park very thankful so that cute. Mary got me into that because if I moved here, I would have had nothing and mm -hmm. really would have been out of sight, out of mind. Mm. So being a part of that show really helped me like say like I'm here. Hello, look at Girl, me. Girl, we brought Macri Park back. Honey. That's true. That's what I heard. Yeah, that's it's was true. Struggling. Between the three of us, bitch, we brought really? it was back because it was closed for a really Who's long three? time. Who's three? Who's the third? Oh, from Mary. Mary. Oh, Mary. Mary. Oh, Mary was it used to be called the Macaroni Mary. Grill. <laughs> Mary has had a Saturday there for oh, years. Yeah. Yeah. But they Macri was closed for like oh, two years of because of COVID. Yeah. No, because um there was a uh, a brick. Yes, there. So yes, there was. No, there was a brick thrown in, and when we asked that brick, "Why are you still here?" Mary was like, "Girl, you know I'm stuck." Oh my god, <laughs> oh. she's gonna you hate me. Here's a question for you about the community. Mm. Do you feel like the shade in the community that there's like real infighting, or it's like sisterly jabs like this? No real are there fighting. Like real no answer. Honestly, conflicts? Yeah, well, who's fighting? Honestly. I think there is actual like conflicts and, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of layers to that but the thing is now when means. you're in so in such a big city and now after, after like covid and stuff there's just no there's just so many ways to go somewhere now and of course you're gonna step on some toes if you're not paying res respect to certain people you know what i mean uh -huh. and it's also just gonna happen because now there's just so many there's so many egos now mm -hmm. oh i know yes. what you're talking about i know what you're it's talking just about. gonna happen like yes. girls think they are owed the world when they you know have a show that's like a little busy and you know and it's just like you need to relax because like i don't put on all this bullshit for no reason i put on this because like i was at one point in my life extremely lonely and i wanted to you know find community and that's why I, you know that's why we should realize why we're out here you know mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know but not everybody has that same history when it comes to why they do what they do I, why do you keep pointing well yeah some people like you were saying earlier their only reason and intention to do drag is to get on drag to get famous, or to yeah. get famous so mm -hmm. they don't have that like i want a sense of community they'll just enter a scene and be like put me in your show why am and i it not happens in your show? everywhere Ooh. like i'm sure you see yeah, LA. No, I mean, that is huge in la that's the big thing oh in la i'm sure yeah. Julie, well, how is it do like you have a, something to say on this topic? Uh, abs uh, um, yes, you were making absolutely. Eyes. As no. current reigning royalty, absolutely. Well, well my first decree though. as Miss Bush. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, I I think that I I agree. It's one oversaturation. There there's a major oversaturation Push of drag quit. and. New who do yeah, you who should quit? quit? Who should quit? Use the round table. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, these are fake glasses. No. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't tell the camera. Got them. Okay. I these are no, fake it's right. Glasses. It's right. Okay. Y'all are treating Julie like she's me. Quit oh. it. <laughs> quit it. <laughs> <laughs> they're real. 